GCSE maths mean from a grouped frequency table in just under 90 seconds. Let's go. Let's say we turn over the page in our exam and we see this table here and we're asked to estimate the mean time. Now, how are we going to do this? Here we're working out the mean from a grouped frequency table. What we're going to have to firstly do is find our midpoint of our intervals and then multiply that by our frequency, divide it by our total frequency. Let's get on with it. So midpoint of 10 and 20, that's going to be 15. Midpoint of 20 and 40, that's going to be 30. Midpoint of 40 and 50, that's going to be 45. Now, you could either do that in your head or you could add together the lower bound and the upper bound. For example, 20 plus 40 is 60 and divide that by two to get our midpoint 60 in this case divided by 2 would be 30. Next, what are we going to do? We're going to multiply our midpoints by our frequencies and add all of them together. So 15 times by 3, that's going to be 45. Plus 30 times by 3, that's going to be 90. Plus finally 45 times by 4, that's going to be a big number, 180. And we're going to divide that by the sum of our frequencies. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, so we're going to divide this by 10. 45 plus 90 is 135, plus 180 is 315, so we're going to have 315 on our top divided by 10. That's going to give us 31.5, our estimate for our mean. Of course, guys, you can just do that on your calculator.